Hello, community. So today we're gonna code blip two vision language model. Now we're gonna do it. Remember the frozen image encoder and the large language models. And we have here our blip two in between those two. Yes, this is exactly what we're gonna do. So runtime, we need a GPU standard class premium. No, I'm broke. A GPU accelerator, yes, please. So here we go. Pip install transformer data sets from our Hugging Face Hub. From the library on Hugging Face. Beautiful. And then here we go. From the transformer, we have here our blip to vision configuration, blip to Q former configuration. Then we're gonna use a specific model with a configuration, the blip to configuration, and of course, what? Yes, 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 yes. Downloading, downloading, downloading. Yes, beautiful. And the most important blip to for conditional generation. This is what we're gonna use and what we need. Just wanna show you. So we have here the configuration, then we initialize it here with some random weights, and I want to show you now the model configuration. So here we go. This is not nice. Arrow cannot import name blip to vision config from transformer. Oh no, don't tell me. Don't tell me that it's so brand new that it's not included yet in the official release. Okay, just a second, just half. Uh, I'll be back in a second. So, and here we are again. So we install it now, the leading and bleeding, the latest version, the nightly version or whatever. Pip install and git and HTTPS. So let's do this. Yes, here we go, git clone, beautiful. So we are now looking at the latest version and I hope we will be able, that this is already included, otherwise we're gonna have a problem coding this thing. So let's have a look. Ah, RAM, this is nice. Resources from here are now included here in this little thing. And that's cute. So resolve to commit what's happening. Installing dependencies. Yes, here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Building wheels. Yes, here we go. Transformers. Successfully built transformers. The latest version. Ah, uninstalled. So 4.26.1. And uh, you must restart. Restart runtime. Yes, beautiful. Everything is back again. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, let's try again to import are we online yes our transformers blip 2 for conditional generation this is what we need and with a little bit of luck we are able to run it now come on show me show me how beautiful you are you can do it baby yes come on you have access to it i know Come on, it's not that complicated. Oh, Jesus, take some time, take some time. Ah, oh, here we are, yes, successful. So what have we achieved? Our configuration now, blip two configuration. Now we have everything here. I mean, if you wanna have a look at this, have and sake. So you can now choose every parameter, you can modify every parameter, output attention, hidden state, cross attention, text configuration, dropout rate, early stopping, my goodness. So everything of two complete system, of a complete vision system and of a complete uh, language system, plus the interface of our Qformer. So whenever you felt, hey, there are not enough data here that I can manipulate, welcome. So if you use it, I hope you can install it with the normal um, um, pip install transformer command. Otherwise you have to do like I do here and we do this. Yeah, uh, it's a known class, of course, blip to configuration and you have the vision configuration, the queue former configuration, the text configuration, the number of query token configuration and any additional keyword arguments. Of course, what else? I don't have to show you this, you know this. Ah, this is now the blip to vision configuration, the pure vision file. Okay, yeah, let's do the 
the vision configuration and you can have a look at the vision configuration in detail so you focus just on one component but i guess i don't have to show you this you you get it the parameters of blip to vision are a little bit more yes 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 attention dropout yeah dropout initializer initializer factor yes ready ready so we are using transformer version 4.27.0 development 0 so this seems to be the latest version yes so let's do now pip install accelerate our little accelerator it's just nonsense because we just have one gpu but never mind so and here we go now here we go now so we have our processor and we have chosen now a specific model salesforce blip 2 up to 2.7 billion parameter model and our model is of course from pre-trained we do not want to train anything we just say give me the pre-trained version hugging face thank you i just want to use it this is our little image here and i want to have model generate and process a batch and code so i want to have now that the system tells me analyzes the picture and tells me what does it see on the, on the picture what are the objects and we can have a conversation with an llm about the content of this so oops ram oh this does not look good okay we have download 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 yeah i can make this a little bit smaller so system ram spiked already this is not good yeah as i told you it's about i think 12 gigabyte 15 17 gigabyte this small version here with 2.7 billion no it, it it's if you go higher for 7 billion parameters you have to have at least i don't know oh 12 gigabytes of system ram this oh this will be oh this could be close this could be really close because normally i use about 40 gigabyte of system ram so let's see gpu ram does it help at all here i don't know so take some time to load and i guess i will be back with you when the 15 gigabytes downloaded so and we are back and you can see we have here 15 gigabyte but velocity is 200 megabytes per second is not bad this is nice so our 15 gigs are down but now comes the now comes the interesting part with system ram i have a feeling there might be a problem approaching real fast so let's see we have a download and then and then then we will know within minutes so 15 gigabytes are down great and now and now what's happening now thinking still thinking okay good sign still alive we are fine with ram no problem at all maybe i was wrong beautiful what are you doing come on tell me no grad norm where are you still thinking i just want to hear one line of text that it tells me what it what the system could identify as object on the picture and they put now with the large language model they make a nice sentence or a nice story or a nice whatever and they tell me oh system ran nine gigabytes going up uh oh yes nine nine is okay everything below 11 we are fine 9.9 uh -oh. come on you can do it 9.9 .9. yes yes we are stable we are stable 10.7 okay but now now we are stable we have to be stable Ten seven eleven five. Oh, we are red. Okay, here you see the importance of RAM. Some some viewers of mine ask, "Hey, how important is RAM?" Absolutely everything. Eleven point eight. Uh oh. Yes, checkpoint charts. Yes, yes, we made it. it. Your session crashed. Gone. Your session crashed using all available RAM. If you're interested to access high RAM runtimes, you may want to check out Colab Pro. Colab Pro, they give us a trial, a free trial? No. $11 per month, $50 per month for Pro, Pro Plus. Yeah, if you have a small job, maybe think about 
just um, buy for 1110 here 100 compute units and use those units up and get an idea and if you see that you really need this and that the infrastructure is enough then it would say then is the next step to go for the cola pro and pay 11 dollars per month 11 10 euros per month and yeah so you have faster gpus more memory it's interesting they don't tell you how much more memory what's the limit there for European users, prices of display tax inclusive. So this means system crashed. This is great because now what I do now, I have, do I have an 810 somewhere? No, everything is busy. I have an old laptop with 64 gigabytes of RAM. So if you give me a second, I will switch to my laptop. So now on my old laptop, my laptop has 64 gigabytes of RAM and no um, CUDA cores. So I'm running here on AMD GPU. So we have to do everything now in or without a GPU. So everything will be executed on our CPU. So as I told you, we import our transformers. Beautiful. From the transformers, we have here our auto processor and blip2 for conditional generation. We are working in PyTorch. Of course, the whole system functions also in TensorFlow 2. And then it is easy. We have here now our processor, our blip2 processor. And we have here now from Salesforce, the blip2 model, where they go for a 2.7 billion parameter model. And the model, of course, is from pre-trained. So we take a pre-trained model and our processor, and we are running on a CPU. So let's execute this. Just going to show you in real time what you going to expect if you do this. I hope you can do it with a GPU somewhere in the cloud where you have a computer with um, a CUDA cores. But currently, I have to do everything in CPU. Yes, check my charts. Yes, yes, yes. By the way, I already loaded here my model, my Salesforce model here about half an hour ago. So just that you know, I it's about 15 gigabyte. So it took me half an hour to load this. And if you want now to see the model that we downloaded from Hugging Face, here we go. My goodness. So we have here our blip2 for conditional generation. We have our vision model. We start here. Our vision model, vision embeddings, and then you just can go on. And please dive right into it. Have a look at the complexity of the model. In my last video, I explained in detail each layer, how they are connected, which layer are frozen. And now here we have now the code implementation from the Salesforce team. And we are gonna use this model. Was it here, was it here, was it here? Yes, language model, here we go. Now we go with the language model. Yeah, you got the idea. So what do we need? We need an image, show me an image. And here the classical image, always you will see this image. So we go with standard. You can download it. This is available for everybody. Just for the type of image, it's a pillow, beautiful. So, and here we go now. And we have now our processor. We have here my image. Oh, oops, yes, thank you, my image. I wanna go with the official image. We have how our model generates the input. Then we have our processor with a batch decode. Yes, yes, yes. And the final answer is what the transformer sees is. And now let's execute the model to get an answer. What does a vision transformer and the language model combined sees here in this picture. What is the output that the language model will generate? The final answer, what a fusion transformer sees is two cats lying, laying on the couch. Beautiful. So I think, yeah, it's okay. But now you might ask, hey, what about here, this, this TV, this remote control? Must the vision transform identify the remote control that there are two cats? So, we can have image captioning, of course, with providing a text prompt. So I'm just have now here my prompt and I say, hey, question, how many cats are there? Answer. So the typical uh, clear structured for our vision language model. 
So it is sinking, it is still sinking. Yeah, images is image, not cats. So the question was, how many cats are there? And the answer is two. Yep, what's say Two, two cats. Oh, okay. So what else can I show you? Oh yeah, if we have prompts, we can use these prompts now. Huh? What do you say? Here we go now for a prompt that is uh, a strange prompt. It has nothing to do. We say, hey, no, comma, a car is. And then we have here this from our language and the vision transformer is now identifying what it sees. And then our language model must make a sentence out of this. So let's try this. So somehow we have no, a car is and something with cats. This is what we expect. But let's have a look here how the max new tokens is 50. Well, it comes back with the answer, no, a car is not a cat. Okay, yeah, but you see exactly what you can do here with your prompts. It responds to the prompts that you are giving the system. So uh, remember I told you, hey, what about here the remote control? So let's do this on a prompt. My question, the cat is lying next to, you. give me an answer. So what I'm hoping for is that there might be now either the sofa, the couch, or the remote control in your answer that is now generated by the vision controller. Let's see, take some time to think. The cat is lying next to the remote control. Yes, exactly. This is what I wanted to have. The cat is lying to the remote control. Funny, this is a kind of a mirror image. So both cats are lying right next to their own remote control. So yes, this is nice. But you see here the general concept here, if you combine a language model and a vision model. And just not to show you this only here, let's change this now a little bit. I say now, I have now my own image and I say, okay, this is here. Just show you my image, you know this image, this is our pyramid. And then I say the final answer what the vision transformer is and I would expect a pyramid. So system is thinking, remember this is a laptop that is only working on a CPU. So if you have in the cloud a GPU, you are much faster. And the final answer of what the transformer sees is the Great Pyramid of Giza. Yes, absolutely. I don't know if it's really the one, but one of those three, beautiful. So you see, this works great. Built. Thinking, system is thinking, still thinking. Question, when were they built? Answer, the pyramids were built between 2550 and 2500 BC before the common era. So you see, we have now here the power of a language model. It's not really a chat GPT, it's just a small model as I showed you, which model I've chosen here, the Salesforce blip to opt with 2.7 billion parameters. But of course, now you might say, hey, wait a minute. We did, did not, we had here, hugging face. Let's have a look. Now, come on, we explored this on the model side. So we have here Salesforce, and we're going for a blip2 model. Do we have a T5? Here we go. Hey, look, this is so beautiful. So we have a Salesforce Blip 2 Flan T5 XL. Oh yes, we can use this. So either you go with the Opt model or you go, what I would recommend, a Flan T5 XL. Or even if you have the, the GPU for it and the, and the memory for it, what about the Flan T5 XXL? Oh yes, so Salesforce was so great. They put here the Blip2 Flan T5 XXL model. Now this is nice. And as you can see, Blip2 consists of three model, a clip-like image encoder, a query transformer, or a Q-former, and an LLM. And you know which LLM it is here? It's our Flan T5 XXL, everything we know, image captioning, visual question answering, chat-like conversations. Yes. 
So no, this was the other one. Where's mine? This here. So instead of, yeah, it's just want to show you. No, this is the T5XXL. Is the T5XL. Let's take the T5XL. So if you want to have fun, you just go here and you say, instead of Salesforce blip, we insert here our blip to flan T5XL. Yeah, and of course here too, sorry. Of course, both our processor and our model. And then you're ready to go and you can do this here now on a flan T5 XX, XXL, depending what memory you have available on your cluster. So finally, we managed that I at least could show you this. How does it look like? And you know what? If we want to go now with a flan T5 XXL, maybe Hugging Face has it somewhere operational. Oh, Inference API has been turned off for this model. Oh, come on. This is not okay. Was it the XXL model has inference has been turned off? But you know what? Salesforce Blip 2. Hey, what do you think we go with spaces? So on spaces, we have Salesforce Blip 2, and we have here our XXL chat one put. Tell me a story about. So here we have beam search. Yep, temperature, length penalty, a little bit length penalty set to larger for longer sequences. Yes, let's do this. So we have here now our picture. We have our vision transformer. We have our LLM. And now we say, hey, chat input, tell me a story about and the content that the system must now deduct is here, analyze the image and come up with a nice story created by our LLM. So nobody there, it's an empty queue. A time when you were a little girl and you wanted to be a ballerina, but you could not afford to go to the ballet. Yes, this is exactly how I feel. I was a little girl and I couldn't afford to go to the ballet. This is why I become a theoretical physicist and a computer scientist. Hey, this is nice. So, <laughs> chat input. Submit. I have no idea what I should ask the system. Photo of a woman with a light bulb in her hair. Beautiful. So you get the idea what it is. So you see here, Salesforce Blip 2, you can use Blip 2 to encode your own vision language transformer model. So whatever you want to use this, whatever picture you are going to take, this is nice. Just put in an image and start chatting about the content of this image with your LLM. I hope you enjoy it. I see you in my next video.